Hello everybody, my name is Connie Anaya and I'm the graphic designer at the Farm and Ranch Museum. I'm going to take off my mask because it's much easier for me to talk and maybe easier for you to hear. So I'm back, yay! I'm excited. So we're going to do uh, the second part of our uh, series for the adult crafts and today's lesson is going to be called self-portrait. How exciting. So you'll need your board or your canvas, you'll need your paints and your brushes. You'll also need some Maj Paj. I'm going to show you how to use Maj Paj. And um, you're also going to need a template for a silhouette of yourself. That's going to make it easier for you to do this lesson. Um, so what I want you to do right now, though, is to uh, sit and just ponder what a self-portrait about you means to you. So think about colors. Think about things that um, make you who you are or things that you like. And I want you to write those down. And then once you've written them down, I want you to get a piece of paper and then just kind of sketch your idea on how uh, your self-portrait will look. Okay, so I hope you've thought about your colors that you're going to use that represent you and also your feelings of how your self portrait is going to look. So this is mine. I um, illustrated myself on there and the different elements that I would like to put on my board. And another thing is I wrote down the color green because I love green. These are some of the pieces of copies of papers that I found uh, that I want to use on my portrait. I want to use a butterfly, some doorways. I found some fabric of these flowers that I just love that I want to put on there. And I put a heart. This is a sacred heart. And um, okay, so let's get started. So what I've done is I've made a little template of the outline of my body, my head, and then my shoulders. So now I want you to cut out um, your silhouette to make a template. And now I'm going to trace this on the board I'm going to use. There it is. I've traced my self-portrait silhouette on the board. I've got my image sketched and then here was my little layout sketch that I did so I can have an idea of where I want to position everything. So on one side of my portrait I'm going to put this uh, copy of this mountain scenery which I will just tear out. So you just want to tear your paper out. So those of you who are beginners and don't feel that comfortable about um, putting those many embellishments, that's fine. What you could probably do, I'd suggest, is go ahead and, and um, paint in here where you have your portrait. That paint it a color and then paint your background a color. And then what you could do is maybe just find some little things that represent you and um, put them inside of your silhouette. Um, I want you to be creative and, and, and don't be scared because uh, this is going to be a fun project. I'm back. Uh, let me show you what I've done with my design. So I've kind of basically laid everything down on my board the way I think it's going to look good. But, you know, things can change. So what I think I'm going to do is um, take all these top layers off. See these elements here? They're going to be behind my silhouette. So I want to go ahead and decoupage those on there first. See how I placed my um, template on top of these images that I'm going to use in my background? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pencil 
and I'm going to actually draw the shape of my um, silhouette on these papers here in the background because I'm going to cut them off. So I'll go ahead and cut out this part that here that I don't need. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. All right, so I've got everything pretty much laid out as I want it, how I visualized it. And now we're going to get to use the washcash. Um, go ahead and make sure you have your cup with your water and then uh, select your brush. So what you can do is go ahead and just dip a little bit of your Maj Paj on your brush. And you're going to put a little bit of that on your background where you're going to place it. Just very lightly and thin. So lay that down. And um, once you've laid it down, it might be hard to pull up. So um, that's why I ask you to go ahead and trace it on there. That's easier to eyeball. And then uh, go ahead and put a little bit of your Maj Paj on top of your copy. It's all trial and error. When I first used Maj Paj, I had no idea what I was getting into, but when you learn how to use it, it's easy. You just push down. So see how I didn't really use that much? So I'm going to go ahead and do paint here on the other side now paint over the area that I want to use and then kind of go by where my outline is and apply some more of the Maj Paj on top and then it adheres and sticks to it. Okay, so I finished putting my background on there and there's a little bit of wrinkles here, but that adds character. But I'm real happy the way it's going to look. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and let that dry. Mosh podging. And you can tell by whenever you touch it. You might want to go around and make sure you've gotten glue underneath um, your paper so that it sticks really well. Okay, so we're ready to paint. I hope you are too. So I'm going to use uh, two different shades of greens after I looked at it. I thought, man, yeah. I'm going to put like a lighter green on the top and then um, blend it down into a darker green. So see around the edges there, I'll have to go ahead and, and apply some more paint. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the darker color and blend that in on the bottom. Okay, so I painted my um, silhouette, and now I'm going to go ahead and paint in the inside of here with a mustard color, and then um, the other side on here, I'm going to fill it in with this blue so I can paint my whole entire board, and that's optional. Okay, so I wanted to show you this little technique. So see how I chose that color? And um, it's making this kind of pop out. And then um, you're like, wow, do I have to stay in the middle of the lines? You don't. So it's kind of like dry brushing. So you just put a little bit of paint on your brush and you kind of just like lightly brush onto your picture because it's just your background. And let some pieces show and then Kind of make it look kind of an antique-ish look. Okay, so I'm liking the way everything's turning out. So what I did was I went ahead and put um, my other embellishments on there to kind of see how my portrait's going to be. And what I... All right, well, that was fun. So I'm almost done. Here's what I did to my face and my neck. Decided to leave 
my hair green and then the bottom part of my torso green. Okay, so I've kind of rethought my um, design a little bit differently, my portrait. So I'm going to show you. Um, right here where I want to put this heart, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my template and put it on here and then I'm going to cut out this access because I don't want it to overlay onto the top. I just think I want to have it that way. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go ahead and start decoupaging the other elements. Hi. Okay. So well, I'm done with my self portrait. Look like me. <laughs> so that was anyway. fun. Um, at the end, I kind of changed it up a little bit, added some embellishments and a key. I want to just um, thank you guys for being a part of this series called Precious Moments. That was the second lesson. Again, I'm Connie Anaya from the Farm and Ranch Museum, and stay tuned for the next lesson.